Hi guys, Connor Rules here from Bunny Domination Studios, and I'm gonna teach you how to do a muzzle flash. Now this is just basic, and this is all gonna be done in Premiere Pro, and the reason being is because using After Effects can suck sometimes, especially if you don't know how to use it. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so this is what you're gonna get for a final result. We're gonna start with the basic video clip and it's just me here lying on the floor groaning and then click and I'm dead well that was fun you're gonna watch that in action movie aren't you so what we're gonna start is when we add the gunshot we gotta find that click when he pulls the trigger okay now sadly he didn't do a like a recoil like a kick back but you know what you still hear the click from the gun. That click right there. And we're gonna go back one frame. Now we gotta all you always gotta start with the muzzle flash, cause what's a muzzle flash without a muzzle flash, right? And you're gonna press C, which is a shortcut or cut, or the razor blade tool, and then you're gonna V, which is the selection tool, and cut out the end. Now that just works, doesn't it? All right. So what we gotta do is we gotta go back to that one frame. That's how long a muzzle flash duration for any muzzle flash should be. One frame. Then we're gonna click opacity, blending mode, lighten, or screen. Now, the difference between lighten and screen is minimal. I like, I like screen, though, because it just has a better, like, how the flare out uh i don't know what to call it and it just saved all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate that mofo around to line up with the barrel then we're gonna shrink it down 30 percent is about a good size for this particular muzzle flash and i just downloaded this muzzle flash off google pictures google images guess what it works um any muzzle flash off back black background will work um if it's off a white background you may have trouble uh getting it looking like realistic or even a green background where am i going with this all right so now we got the muzzle flash in a decent spot okay fair enough now let's go to the muzzle flash, and you can actually use the arrow keys to navigate your timeline. By the way, if you guys don't know much about Premiere, this is your program, this is your source. I will be referring to those as their names. So next, what is a gunshot without the gunshot? Now here's what I've got. I got a freesound.org and it's actually quite crap. So what I actually did is I already uh, went ahead and marked in and marked out where there was no sound. And then I could just, whoop, 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 what? Drag in the audio and line it right up. So now, that's, that's ridiculous. So what we're going to do to make this sound better is right click away from the FX. Select, right click, speed and duration. 50%. This is going to slow it down, giving it a bait, like a deeper tone and longer lasting. And it's decent. Um, if you want a better song from it, go ahead and yeah. Now, I don't really look shot. I just kind of whip my head. I whip my hair back and forth and I act dead not very realistic um so uh from detonation films i got a blood splatter effect booyah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by marking in where that blood splatter starts so you're gonna go navigate to it mark in go down using the arrow keys and when that blood splatter stops mark out then you're gonna bring in on the timeline a Above the muzzle flash or it can be below the muzzle flash but as long as it's not below the main video layer 
this is your main video layer. Next, we're going to go to effects control, uh, where our source was. And we're going to make sure we're clicked on the exit wound. Now, opacity, darken, or this one actually works better with multiply. Now, we're going to kind of just search through where we find it. And we're going to, uh, I'm probably going to leave this at the original size, but I am going to rotate it to fit my face. Okay, you want to rotate it to pretty much the angle of um, the barrel to get a decent shot out of. There you go. And now we've got that blood coming out of my face. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, and uh, there's still something missing. And I can tell you exactly what. Good muzzle flash is never complete without a little bit of smoke from Detonation Films as well. I'll leave a link in the description to Detonation Films, um, freesound.org, and I guess Google Images, maybe. I don't know. So we're going to mark in where that Detonation Films leaves, and I'm actually going to mark in one more keyframe because for some reason it's just having troubles. And then you're going to go in a random amount of time and mark out because then you'll just adjust it in the timeline later. Next, you're going to go to Effects tab, Effect Controls tab, uh, Opacity Lighten, or for this one, again, it works better with screen. Now, I'm just going to explain this real quick. I don't know what this group does. This is just regular images. This group takes out the light colors like white. This group takes out the dark colors. I don't know what the rest of these do because I really do not mess with these like ever. So yeah, anyway, screen. Ba -ba -bam 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 -bam. Now we're going to keyframe, ba -ba -ba -ba. and we see the smoke. Motion, and we're going to move that up to where the gun was. Now we're going to rotate it so it actually fits the profile again. Okay, no, it's going to rotate like that. Now uh, let's line that up with the gun. Roop. Up, up, no left. Up, 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 right at the muzzle of the gun. And now we do have this problem. It just cuts out out of nowhere. That bit of smoke cuts out out of nowhere. That's not very realistic, so just drag that to the end of the clip and boom. Now what I did in priorities is I faded out the clip and uh, let's let's show you something. Opacity mark and we're going to end to fade it out. Now I, I just like to fade it out this way versus going to the effects and finding the fade. But yeah, now this leaves another problem. That smoke stays in. Now I guess you could use that for some effects if you want to keep that smoke in, but honestly this doesn't work. So you're going to go back to the keyframe where you start fading out, you're going to select smoke, and you're going to select keyframe, the opacity, and go to the end of the clip like you did with the other one, and go to zero. And now that fades out with it. Oh, it's just having troubles there because I'm running that much at a time. And yeah. Now, my tip for you guys is if you ever do use Premiere a lot, get two screens. I actually have a TV screen, like a 28-inch TV screen hooked up to my computer so I can show my program in that 20-inch screen so I can actually see a very really decent size screen. Anyways, comment, rate, subscribe. Tell me what you guys want to see done in Adobe, whether it's in After Effects, Premiere, 
Photoshop, audition, whatever. I know the whole thing. I'm a filmmaker for crying out loud. Anyways. The Spin Bunny Domination Studios, the Alpha Bunny. Yeah, see you guys. Have fun. Do school. Stay in drugs. Yeah.